The global pandemic has highlighted the importance of the healthcare industry, and on the rapid response front, the health sector has long been supported by the helicopter industry. With an increased focus on this industry, we are discussing the potential opportunity for future growth in this emergency medical services or EMS helicopter sector. Looking at the EMS sector, currently just under 11% of the in-service stored Western-built helicopter fleet, a total of over 2,500 aircraft are used for this purpose. If we look at other helicopter usage groups, law enforcement makes up 13%, while offshore is 7%, and search and rescue is 3% of the fleet. The EMS sector is dominated by helicopters in the light single engine category, such as the Bell 407, and the light to intermediate twin engine categories, such as Airbus helicopters H135 and H145. Over the last decade, the EMS fleet has grown 3.4% annually, with over 700 additional aircraft entering service during this time. New delivery growth has slowed in the last two years, though. New deliveries for 2021 reached just over 50 aircraft, down significantly from 2020, but with the ongoing issues related to the global pandemic, this is not entirely surprising. Over half of these deliveries were Airbus manufactured aircraft, 28 were H145 variants, a further 12 were smaller Airbus helicopter types, such as the H135, and additionally 10 Bell 407s were delivered. Geographically, North America dominates the EMS helicopter sector, with 51% of the global in-service fleet operating out of the region. North America has taken approximately 41% of new deliveries in the last 10 years for EMS, with the top five EMS helicopter operators, companies like Air Method Corp, Air Evac Life Team and Metro Aviation all based in this area. Europe, and particularly Germany, also have a large number of EMS helicopters. Roughly 29% of the current active fleet operates from the region, with 31% of the deliveries in the last decade being made into the area. Many countries in Europe have some form of EMS helicopter presence. Some are charitable concerns or supported by state subsidies, in contrast to the US where these services are typically operated as private for-profit businesses. Asia Pacific has around 13% of the in-service EMS helicopter fleet and has the youngest aircraft on a regional basis. This reflects the relatively recent uptake of helicopter support to the emergency medical industry in the region. 22% of recent new EMS helicopter deliveries have been made to the region. These deliveries were skewed towards Bell and Leonardo manufactured aircraft rather than the Airbus helicopters that account for the majority of the deliveries in Europe and North America. In other regions, such as Africa, Latin America and the Middle East, there is limited presence of EMS helicopters at the moment, with only 7% of the global fleet were residing there, amounting to around 160 helicopters. The actual number of EMS helicopters operated in these areas has however grown by over 60%, or a one-point increase in the MS fleet share in the last decade. The 2021 Sirium helicopter forecast anticipates annual growth of 2.1% in the MS sector, which would lead to nearly 600 helicopters being added to the fleet by 2030. This would account for 12% of the total helicopter fleet at this point, a small increase in the fleet share from its current position. It is expected 17% of the existing fleet will also be replaced by 2030, which is about 440 new helicopters. Light and intermediate twin engine types such as the H135 and H145 will make up a large proportion of the fleet, with light singles retaining a share of 25%. Growth in Asia is also likely to drive the sector forward in the next 10 years. Being a less mature helicopter EMS market than North America and Europe, it is likely that there will be development in the helicopter operations in the region. Latin America and the Middle East may also see some increase in helicopter EMS presence. Newer types like the H145D3 and AW169 are likely to stimulate replacement transactions and fulfill the growth-related demand from the EMS sector in the years to come. Providing additional medical services to remote regions could also be supported by helicopters in the future, allowing trained medical staff and equipment to get to these areas more easily and provide non-emergency medical support, such as vaccination programs. Whilst not as obvious a candidate for the use of piloted drones or UAS unmanned aircraft systems as the search and rescue sector, there are examples of innovation going on in the EMS industry to utilize these next generation rotorcraft technologies to complement traditional EMS helicopter support. 
Examples include EV toll ambulances and drone defibrillators, which would have speed and access advantage over traditional rotary ring aircraft whilst operating in built-up city environments. These innovations will become a reality towards the end of the decade, and we will see how they will impact the helicopter fleet in this sector. Thank you very much for listening, and we look forward to hearing from you with any feedback or queries you may have.